So, uh, happy Sunday. Is today Sunday? I had a question about uh, the difference between the LLC corporation and sole proprietorship. Um, and I wanted to kind of answer it because um, I tried to explain it. You know, I touched on it in one of my free online courses. So I wanted to go, um, I guess, the online course hadn't come out yet. So <clears throat> I want to go ahead and explain it as to why I prefer an LLC over a corporation and sole proprietorship and also how to protect yourself so um this is something that i will be going over to houston seminar about licensing agreements i try to touch on it every time i have my seminars and my workshops um well houston workshop so okay so first of all with a sole proprietorship um it gives you a tax break um and you're not taxed crazy so that's one thing that's good about a sole proprietorship and even when you start a business and you begin to get revenue on your business you already consider the sole proprietorship if you haven't elected to be anything else um the bad thing about being a sole proprietorship is that you have no protection whatsoever you are responsible for every single debt you incur in your business um company want to sue you for not paying them back they can come sue you and held you hold you personally liable for it um so that's one reason why i don't worry i don't ever think about being a sole proprietorship i can't even think of a reason as to why someone want to be a sole proprietorship when they have an llc in place um but anyway that's for sole proprietorship corporation however gives you complete protection it gives you the best protection um over um uh sole proprietorship you're completely separate from your business you if you get sued or um another company tries to come after you they can only come after a corporation okay they cannot personally hold you liable is nothing that they can do whatever you own personally they can't take they can't um try to withhold or anything like that but it's very expensive to start a corporation and with a corporation you are taxed twice your tax and your corporation is taxed and those taxes are not pretty um, as far as an llc as far as an llc goes you have best of both worlds you have best of both worlds basically so you have that protection um like a corporation so you are can be able to completely to you will be able to separate your personal debt from your business debt. you're completely um separate from it and if somebody tries to sue you they can only hold the llc liable and it has the tax break of a sole proprietorship you're not taxed twice as you are in a corporation so llc is put in place to basically hold the best of both worlds um if you don't want to be a sole proprietorship being held liable for your business debt but you want the tax break that's completely up to you i'm not telling you all that it's good or bad to do anything but an llc is best and um electing an s corporation with your llc is even better so um that allows you to have all the benefits of a corporation without being taxed twice um but having that tax break of a sole proprietorship so i hope that makes sense also for a quick little tip um i own several llc's and most of them are for my protection and i'll explain what i mean um i hope i make this make sense without having the because usually i try to do like a little diagram but if let's say i'm gonna use my name and my husband name for an example so say if tramar LLC um, goes out and apply for debt. He goes out and apply for five thousand um, dollars in loans. Okay, um, but he also has under that LLC he has a vehicle, he has computers, he has all these um, assets that that LLC has okay the car computers whatever the case may be a bunch of equipment so the creditors are looking at it as if okay he has um collateral so if you don't pay us back i can sue his llc and get his collateral to offset the debt but 
Tramar LLC has a licensing agreement with Rashida LLC. Okay, so that licensing agreement states everything under the LLC that's listing, listed in this licensing agreement really belongs to Rashida LLC. So the car, the computers, all the equipment um, Tramar LLC bought, but that licensing agreement states that Rashida LLC owns it. So Tramar doesn't pay his $5,000 bill. He doesn't pay it. He lets it go to collections or whatever the case may be. And they decide to come after the LLC because again, the LLC protect him and they're not able to come after him personally. So they're going to come after the, the um, assets that he has. Um, but that being said, the creditors, since they know they're not going to get the money, they, they're not going to get the money back. They're going to try to get all of his assets. But when they try to come after his assets, um, you as the owner or whoever the owner is, is going to pull out that licensing agreement and say, well, hold your horses. I have a licensing agreement. This equipment, these assets are not really mine. It belongs to Rashida LLC. So, sorry, the only thing that I have under this LLC is my logo. Your mother welcome to have it. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the only they'll get. Um, and that's a good way to protect, I'm sorry that horn, I'm outside, but um, that's a good way to protect yourself is having a licensing agreement. Having, I would have an LLC for every other LLC you have, if that makes sense. So if you're selling clothes um, and you have an LLC um, with the, the clothing brand, you make sure you have another LLC in place to do that licensing agreement. You do another LLC. If you have an LLC of selling lashes, you make sure you create another LLC and put that licensing agreement in place. So if you have 2,000 worth of lashes, you make sure you have a licensing agreement stating that your other LLC actually own those lashes because they're going to try to get whatever they can get out of you to offset that debt. So I hope um, that made sense. I kind of hope that um, cleared things up with the question about the LLC, so proprietorship and the corporation. Um, with my course, that course is actually for free. Um, week one is for free. It's an eight week course. Um, week one is for free and the rest is just $99 and it's eight weeks long and it has eight different courses. You won't be able to skip over courses or anything. You have to actually complete the full course and to make sure you don't skip over courses, the courses will be available every two days because I really want people to um try to grasp the, the information and be able to if you want to start another business be able to do it on your own um without having to go to legal zoom and pay all those ridiculous fees because you pay fees for legal zoom a lot of people don't know um that they can go straight to the secretary of state and apply for the llc there they always go to legal zoom a third party company to try to apply for the llc um if you follow me on instagram i kind of put in a clip like it's literally me in a little box on the screen going through the steps of applying for an LLC. It's in Georgia, but on um, in the courses and each week, there's a list of websites with your secretary of state. So I have 50, it's 50 states. So I put in 50 websites that, um, yes, I took a lot of time and I put a lot into this. I want to be as thorough as possible. And I wanted to do it to where I actually said, um, I'm gonna sit my seven year old down on the computer and see if she can follow along. That's how thorough I'm trying to make sure it is. Um, but you can literally follow along and apply for every single thing. You probably just have two screens up or if you have me on your smartphone, you can look at me on your smartphone. You could be clicking while I'm actually um, going to apply for the LLC. But I'm having the websites on, there's documents that you need to print out before you can even start the course. So you make sure you print out all the documents. It's a password tracker, um, it's a list of websites pertaining whatever state you're in. You go to that exact website and it should take you straight to um, the filing of your LLC and all states are different um, so what I've done was a face I created a Facebook group for the students who are taking the courses and um, if anybody has questions applying for the LLC because every state is different um, I'll be able to answer questions um, about applying for the LLC but other than that everything is step by step that's the only difference your EIN is the same way I'm literally going click by click on the screen you'll see me up in a little box I'm explaining everything as we go along um, so it's literally just that thorough and like I said week one is free week one is the complete legalization of your business so that'll be free I'm trying to have um, week one posted by 
Wednesday. And like I said, your co courses would be available every two days. Um, my husband is my biggest critic, so I make sure I let him listen to it and look at it um, before I try to release them. So hopefully I will be officially launching this on Wednesday. Um, so if you're not in Houston, you're, you're not able to come to the workshop, the courses will definitely help you in um, Facebook group will kind of help you as well so if you are coming to the workshop I am doing customized um, planners um, tailored to your business so I'm gonna have your business name printed on the front your business brand on the front I want um, I really want the planners to be um, specific to your business so whatever it is pertaining to your business that you want to write down or you need to keep track of you'll be able to keep it in the planner so if you are attending the workshop um, I put it on my Instagram story on Melanin Love. Be sure to email me um, as much information as the of your business as possible so that I can get your little printer printed out. Um, and I'm definitely going to have them printed before the workshop. I have a lot of stuff to travel with at the workshop. So I'm flying and this is going to be crazy. I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Um, but I'm going to be paying the arm and leg for some luggage. <laughs> Hopefully they don't break my printer. It's a little... Um, travel printer but hopefully you don't break it i might just buy one I'll, i think i'll probably do that i'll end up buying a printer when i'm there so i hope that answered all of your um or answered the question um about the llc so proprietorship in a corporation um oh and i will be having a graphic designer at the workshop so anybody need a logo done there you'll be able to get a logo done um i'm not sure what their fees are but um I have a graphic designer if you need flyers templates to post on Instagram you'll have a graphic designer at the workshop to get that done so I look forward to seeing everybody and I will see you all later bye